this thing has been absolutely amazing. It's been a lifesaver and a dog saver too. Uh, my dog is half Great Pyrenees, half Elk Hound. She's a big dog. She's a very stubborn dog, but in her mind, she's a puppy. But she's just, uh, she was born October the 9th of uh, 2019. I purchased this collar from Amazon back in January of 2020. So I've been using this for over a year. It's flawless. It's still holding up. I still use it all the time. Well, not actually use it. Uh, for the most part now, she just responds to the, uh, there she goes. She responds to the beep 95% uh, of the time, unless it's a unique situation, something's going on, she gets a little overexcited. Uh, the battery life on this is absolutely amazing. There's a port here, which I'm gonna bring you down a little bit closer to show you the controls of the remote and uh, show you a little bit more about this. Now this is used. Uh, she did chew on it a little bit when she was a puppy. But like I said, I've been using this for a year now, so this is a real world review and a real take on it. Uh, not just something that I just got out of the box and looked at and said, oh, well, look at this. No. This is uh, this is all legit, and I can give you first-hand experience and first-hand accounts on all of it. But let's go ahead and get you down here to take a look. So to turn it on, you just simply turn the knob right here. It comes on. It shows the battery life of the remote, which is your first one here, and the battery life of the collar. It automatically detects that. That is your second one, which probably wouldn't hurt to charge. But... This thing, the battery on this lasts so long uh, when you just use it, you know, just as, as audible, as an audible warning or whatever. And that's that, they respond to that uh, better than anything that I've found so far. Now, this is the shocker button. That's, just do me a favor, guys. If you're going to use this for shock, use it on yourself first because this thing is stout. Uh, usually it's uh, I keep it on 25 but that's just because she has a super thick undercoat and 25 I mean it's it's more of a you can feel it but it's more of a startling uh, type thing see I'm hitting the, I'm hitting the button here uh, yeah I mean you hold it in long enough you can uh, you can feel a little bit but uh, with her with all that thick undercoat and uh, cover it's uh, I actually had to turn it up a little bit more which two times is all that I had to use the orange button just twice uh, both of them was for her benefit also we live, do live close to a highway and that's it it was for her safety um, but for the most part the vibrate which is your top one right here that's her that's her last chance warning that she gets uh, she's she heard it and she's oh bless her heart she's going to her cage no Callie come here honey lay down but uh 90% of the time 95% of the time a simple that right there lets her know she's acting up to, to behave. Uh, she's a very intelligent dog. She's just super stubborn, super stubborn. But to turn the, uh, the, the level up and down, let me see if I can get that in there. Yeah, you'll hold this button right here and simply turn it, the button that you turned it on with, just like that. This button over here, if you have more than one collar, you can use the same remote. Say you have three dogs running around. You don't want to carry three remotes and try to remember which one's which. Hold that in for about five seconds. Now, I've only have one. That'll switch to another collar, but of course, where I only have one, it's not going to. And then to uh, release from all of the collars, uh, if you program it into to more than one, which all you got to do is just turn the collar or just tur turn your remote on, just hold the button in, it'll detect the collars. But to reset that, you show this in for eight seconds. That way your other remotes will work with it again. Now there is a lock over here. Now with that lock turned on, it just slides up. It does nothing. You can still see your battery life. You can still uh, turn it on and off. You can, uh, yeah, it won't even let you turn the level of it up and down. But use that, please. The one time, like I said, my dog has been hit two times with this for her own benefit. And another time when my wife sat on the remote. Now we were all sitting outside around the fire, you know, enjoying a good time. The dog's out there just uh, just investigating, just walking up and down the uh, the creek bank. Well, my wife thought she got stung. No, she was sitting on the remote. So bless her heart. Now she didn't she didn't go close to the creek bank for another uh, another three months after that, I'd say. But let's uh, look what we get in the box. Now it's uh, very simple. Of course, like I said, I had to dig this out. Had it for a year. 
you have, uh, I guess it's going to be more of an advertisement like book. You know, it might show you some other stuff. Bar control, yeah, dog training. Uh, you got your instruction book, which is very self explanatory. You know, I, I don't really think that there's uh, any other thing uh, in this that I didn't show you just now. I'm going to it for a couple seconds. Get a little bag here. Here's a little thing that you can put on your, uh, attached to your remote right here. Uh, a lanyard and oh these little silicone caps yes I remember these now these are to uh, make it a little bit more comfortable for your doggy uh, these just slide over that way you don't have metal on metal contact you'll just slide these over here but it, like I said if you have a dog like I do with uh, with two coats uh, those are useless I did try that at first and we almost had a really bad accident because it was not working so I don't know if these just suppress it all together or if they just uh, uh, make it less or uh, make it more tolerable. Uh, we'll have to test that out too. But to adjust it, it's just your normal adjusting options. This right here, which I'm very bad at stuff like this. You'll give it some slack. That'll make it bigger. You pull this up a little bit more to make it smaller, make it tighter. Now you don't want this too tight. You probably want to get a at least a get a finger under it, but you do have to have some good contact with that. You might have to move the fur out of the way. Like I said, that is when you first get this, you might have to use it a couple of times to let them know when they get this collar on that you you mean business to take you serious. Now now, uh, Callie, she uh, she enjoys getting her collar on. You know, she doesn't look at it as a thing, as a threat thing. She looks at it as Yay, I'm going to go play. I'm going to go somewhere. You know, we're going to we're going to go for a ride or something. So she's actually excited when I tell her now, you know, we're getting her collar on. But she's used very sparingly now. It's just uh, when she know we know she's going to be in situations that uh, she'll be overexcited or if we do take her somewhere where there, she's going to be around other people because she's a puppy. And, well, she, she's a, a little over a year old, but she's she's probably about 70 pounds. But she thinks that everybody is there for her entertainment only. You know, she's still got that pumping mentality. Knows no danger, knows no threats. And that everybody is her friend and everybody wants to see her and pet her. But uh, let's go back up top and we'll talk about it a couple more minutes. Oh, I forgot to show you guys uh, while we had it down on the table. Uh, the charge port for this is just right here. It just uses regular uh, mini USB, uh, USB-C, whatever it's called, something like that. But uh, it uses one of those. I'm sure we all have hundreds of those laying around by now on the remote. It's right here on the bottom. And of course, right there. It takes, the book says it charges up for two hours. Uh, I'm telling you, in, in a half hour now, which I usually just uh, use like a, a, a battery pack or something, you know, a uh, portable charger that uh, I keep dedicated to this. And I haven't charged that thing. Well, it's probably been a year. I don't think I ever have. <laughs> just putting it in this uh, from time to time. But if you, if you don't use the big orange button, it's not going to uh, it's not going to use a whole lot of life at all. Now the uh, the light on it does always blink. Uh, I had to check on that because you know after I'd had it for a couple of days, I was like, wow, you know, did I leave it on? Is there an on off switch? What's going on with this? And uh, but it does always blink. You don't turn that off unless the battery's dead. But it's a great collar, forty bucks, some of the best money I spent. But please, every dog is going to be different. It could be a little dog, could be a big dog. Always test it on yourself. I ask you to do that for the, the, the sake of the dog because you don't know, you know, what they're going to go through. Just stick it on the arm. Just stick it on your neck. Jesus. Let me turn it down. Still had on 99. If you, uh, I don't care if your dog's a horse. You don't need it that high. You don't need that much. Okay. Anyway, this is great. I cannot imagine a better one after a year of using this. It still works flawless. She did get a hold of the thing right here when she's a puppy. She did chew that and she did chew that. But guess what? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just broke a little bit and she, uh, she had a little bit of a first pack. But it's been great. If you're thinking about getting this one, get it. Thanks for watching.